getting ready to have a little race with a couple buddies of mine on June 8th. This is my my ride. They're not really uh, I haven't told them about it too much, but I'll record that. That should be fun. Bodied go kart, 212 cc, uh, no suspension. Basically DIY go kart stuff. I think this is an old bird go kart, but uh, that should be pretty fun. Endurance race, drag race, and a show and shine with go kart. Well, I got the body off this go-kart and twins basil I found another deal on another one same I believe bird chassis just got back and unloaded it it's missing the uh, front clip but uh, I can make that can't believe I found another one identical for cheap so now I have that one and this is the original one that came with the uh, Sitco car so, lucky me, I've got two bodies. I'm going to take a little rip on this one, see how it does. And uh, maybe I'll have the wife a go-kart and me a go-kart for the race. Got the square body project kind of at a stopping point or at least running and driving. So uh, now it's time to get on these two. Got to get ready for this go-kart race. Uh, we just had our first little testing session. Timmy's the only one that's got his go-kart up and going. It's the red one. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get any footage while I was down there. I forgot my camera and I was just having a good time, so I forgot to record. I'm sure you can understand. But uh, his go-kart is extremely fast. Handles great. Got big old knobbies on it. The other guy's go-kart, racing go-kart, another one, racing go-kart. So I appear to be quite outgunned with uh, what I've chosen to, to run this race with. These two very rudimentary one-wheel drive go-karts with bodies. Um, so I ordered some parts. Stayed within budget. Wasn't gonna order parts, but I got some parts inside. Got a box in there for each set. So let's uh, let's roll these in here and see what we got. She's just a parts cart. And here are hopefully the two race carts. This is the uh, non-Hemi. It's newer and seems to run better, so I'm gonna give that to the wife. Um, this one is the Hemi. It's definitely older, it smokes a bit. So I'm thinking it's the Less reliable of the two, I'll take this one. So, over here, 
two boxes of parts, cart A and cart B. Now, let's see what kind of trouble I can get into, whether I can make these fast enough to beat the crowd. Timmy, you made me do this. You too, Ray. Time to put some new parts on, boys. Let's do it. Just waiting on the flywheel to get in. We've got the motor set up there for now. Still waiting on the fuel tank to come in. And, uh, got a little sneaky surprise in there. I don't know if you can see that aluminum flywheel, but none of the boys know I'm doing that to get a little higher RPM. Hopefully it helps on race day. We'll see. I got a long way to go. Got the motor pulled on her cart. And uh, parts over here. Side note, while I was pulling the motor on her cart, I went ahead and pulled the front tires on my cart and hers. And I was getting the spindle out. And I had the engine just sitting up here on the pad. And I, I felt something shift the weight on the cart and I looked back and this engine is just on its way down from this four foot platform and smacked right down on the concrete. <laughs> broke off the fuel tank tab. Luckily that's all it broke. At least that's what it looks like all it broke. There's the shrapnel. So my motor's taking a spill. Fingers crossed. Oh. Valve lash a little off on this one. Shit. It's running. Sounds kind of good too. Not too loud. Success. Timmy, I'm coming after you. Well, this is way easier to pull. Way easier. Hmm. Pretty sure it's got fuel in it. Yeah, I got fuel in it. Oh. It'd help if I turn the ignition switch on. Now let's try it. No explosions. I know that's probably bad for YouTube content, but it's good for me. When Timmy stopped by, Timmy, if you're watching this, sorry, brother, but I gotta keep some things a secret. He was trying to sneak over and be nosy and see what I had going on. I had the motors covered up, and I guess that threw him off the scent, I, I threw him off the scent enough where he didn't realize underneath my toolbox, I hid both of the old flywheels and the head gasket so he wouldn't ask any questions. So he doesn't know that I've got aluminum uh, flywheels in it and he doesn't know that I've bypassed the governor so I've got more RPM. So, <laughs> sorry Timmy, but I gotta keep some things a secret. He also doesn't know what I'm doing with the steering wheel and this lever and I'm gonna make a thumb throttle out of it so I have more control. So. And I keep some things under wraps until race day, so I have a little bit of an advantage. All right, I feel like I should uh, give a little before and after. Maybe, maybe not. But here's the, they're identical carts, but here's the cart before. This is the body mount. This is the former kind of one wheel drive, solid, 
setup. This doesn't rotate. It's welded on here and it's welded on to the engine plate. This is the old brake setup. Tabs on either side. Um, this is the throttle linkage kind of lock thing. Here's the two pivots for the throttle and the brake. And I think that's the throttle stop. It hit back and forth in there. And then uh, the steering is up front. So this is the cart now, or the other cart. I'm gonna do the same thing to mine. This is hers. Uh, cut the throttle stop or the steering stop off, and I'm gonna re-weld it back here to move the steering behind the shaft because our feet are gonna be up here. So hopefully that'll give us more room, and I'll just reverse the spindles left to right, right to left, so that the rest of the spindles back here and pivots this way. Um, of course, got rid of all the throttle stop and throttle linkage and stuff because I'm going with the hand throttle, hopefully. And I'll move the brake up further. Uh, cut those off, cleaned all that up. Cut the brake and the former axle slash engine mount off. Cleaned everything up the best I could, or not the best I could, but the best I'm going to. And now it is pretty much ready for that live axle. It should be here tomorrow, hopefully. Got both the frames somewhat how they need to be to start building them back. Build back better. Yeah, right. This is actually going to do good. Oh, this is going to be a tight fit. Tape miner. Oh yeah. I think we're on to something here. <laughs> I didn't get the camera on this, but I tacked in some uh, bars to hold me in using some of the old frame from that cart. So I've just got them tacked in for now. They fit me pretty well. Did some for the wife's cart. Of course, she's a lot smaller than I am. So those work for her and I can still get in it, which is nice. Um, I got the front bumper all ready to weld on. All right, so I got the setup welded in. It is not pretty, but hopefully it will do the job. It's the name of the game, right? I mean, if you're watching me, you're familiar with not pretty, but hopefully it'll do the job. Okay. Got the steering pretty much. <laughs> not figured out, but I got it close. This is how the steering is pretty much going to be laid out on her cart. That's just because this cart already had these rods. I just flipped it from the front of the steering shaft to behind the steering shaft so that I can make some mounts for her to put her feet. This one I ended up having to redo everything because it just had the old style steering, a little sloppy, little little S bend. And I also wanted to set up a pretty an okay version of the Ackerman steering on this one to try to help with the handling. So I ended up cutting this off because I just I needed them to come into here anyway. And I just wanted to redesign the whole thing. So this is the setup I got on my cart. I will get hers set up the best I can, but hers is more of a just ride around until we crash out, and then she comes in and takes the gold. Mine, I'm pretending like I'm a race car driver, and then I'll probably crash out or the motor will die or something like that, but I'll know that my steering is somehow making me better. Well, just before I go inside, I thought about maybe this motor that came on my uh, <laughs> spare cart. I thought about maybe seeing if I can just soak it overnight and uh, possibly get this thing freed up. If I get it freed up, I'm not really worried about high performance, but it'd be nice to just have a spare cart. I don't even know if it has oil in it. Let's see. Oh, it looks 
kind of watery. Uh, looks like water. Yeah, let's just put that back in there and go inside. All right. Well, let's uh, go cook dinner. I really need to plan better because I don't know where the stopping points are in any of these videos. I guess that's part of making YouTube videos. You got to come up with some kind of story or plan so you know where to start and stop and whatnot. But here I am. Like I said, got the bars for your feet welded in. Um, got the engine plate with a crossbar. Give it some strength. It's not pretty, but it's overdone and it should hold fine. I've seen less and do more. Time keeps on slipping into the future. What an appropriate song. All right, so I actually left some of the stuff together this time so you could see it. Uh, this is a little mock-up setup for uh, getting the other caliper on. Uh, did not take near as long. Much easier once I figured it out. Kind of with everything. First time you do it, it takes forever. Second time, it felt like it was breeze. So this is the setup on her cart. Um, shot some paint on mine. Just the half that I had hanging off the lift. Turn it fine. Straight locked up. Now it seems like it's way too tight. Of course, I'm only spinning it by hand because I don't have the torque here. But if I just barely push the brake, I can actually feel it let go. And there is a little bit of control there. The way I have it set up, it's not a lot of movement for your foot. But I think with some weight on it, some torque applied, you definitely don't have to worry about completely getting off the throttle. I mean, that thing will stop it probably under complete throttle. So that's the case. I'm just gonna clean up the shop, shoot a little bit more paint on it and call it a night. Thanks for joining me. Maybe this will be an end of the episode and I'll do like a part two because there's a lot of footage that I have to go through or I might just do one big video. I don't know. I guess you'll find out whether it says thanks for watching after this or if it just rolls right into the next one. Regardless, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm trying to hit that 500 subscriber mark. I even already filmed a video. So if you're seeing this and I had that video out and have more than 500 subscribers, congratulate me in the comments. If not, dog me in the comments because my channel's crap. Have a go.